to the one global digital trappers, crow getters. What's happening? You already know who this is, the opulent one. Check me out, though. Mister's in the building. I got to put y'all up on some stuff. Now, y'all know what just happened with the servo finance scam rug pool. Now, while I'm in the chats, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm surfing through the chats trying to, you know, scrape up the info, the 411, all, just trying to keep my people informed, right? So I stumbled up on this in the Mad Meerkat Finance Announcements, right? So let's, let's click on this link. When I tell you, Mad, if, if first, I'm not going to say this yet, but I want y'all to read this. Now, I'm going to put this link in my description for everybody that was scammed, right? Post-mortem analysis and recovery. Listen, this shit is wild. I understand it's been a day of roller coaster emotions, blase, blase. They saying what happened? This is what happened. What happened is a guy by the name of Dark Horse, who was a member of the servo development team, he was a lead developer, he was referred by a friend that was in the project, and what had happened was he stole it. He just stole it. He just went rogue, so to speak. So the people saying, hey, MMF, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with this because of you. Your, your track record is why I went on this servo finance. So you are responsible. Now, for real, for real, MMF doing their business, they doing their job. So people like, yo, how you let these scammers slide in here? So what MMF said was just like amazing, bro. Listen, they said, okay, he slid in. They did like a month and a half worth of research. They already had a good relationship with the individual, not knowing he going to pull a J stunt like, like he did. Now, the key changes is what's, what's the big thing. What are they doing now? Now, anybody who a part of this project, you got to have your ID. You got a KYC. You got to make sure that your wallet that they're dealing with is linked to the crypto.com account. Big deal. Rug doctors also allowed MMF team to verify projects that are KYC with them. If they are on our launch pads, we will be pushing projects to do KYC with them as well. So in short, this three prong KYC check will ensure the identities of the participating projects are known to more than one party. Now, and, and for real, for real, it's just the anonymous thing is over with with MMF because you really ran off with a little bag. Was it this, you know, um, was it this tedious before? Of course not. But, you know, you in crypto, you try to keep the decentralized vibe, the anonymous vibe flowing. You ain't really trying to dig into all this other shit. So more information to kind of settle down the foot. 48,000 MMF from the server marketing team was recovered. 56,000 from the SRV MMF LP that was held by the MMF team. Uh, 136,000 MMF that was raised, that was held by our team to be vested and sent to Servo. So in total, 241,000, which equals $280,000, was still recovered from the movement. So what they're doing is, their recovery plan is to airdrop all the MMF that was missing to the people who lost the money. You dig what I'm saying? Uh... Two hundred eighty thousand is a is a is a good amount. Will that compensate everybody? No. But the fact that MMF is stepping up to kick back this money is a big deal. Now, some conspiracy theorists could say, "Oh, MMF was part of it, and they're just poisoning the pond to later on give you the remedy." Hey, they could be, or they could just say, "Fuck y'all," excuse my language, and run off with this little bag. But listen. MMF, whoever's behind MMF know that this is a billion dollar, trillion dollar field, man. You do right, you stay down, you get paid in the long run. Whoever did this little junkie move was a smoker. You know what I mean? He was struggling. He pulled the stunt, he got the little check and he out. And he really, they really got the press on him anyway because it's like this. They're working on... They really got the identity of the developer, right? The person who did it. So what they're saying is, homie, if you don't pull up and come on up with that money, I'm finna give your information to the authorities. P 
period. You dig what I'm saying? So Dark Horse, if you're watching this video, the folks on your bumper, come on with that bread, buddy, and do the right thing. Now, on behalf of MMF, man, I salute what they did, man. They stepped up and they tried to cure some shit that they didn't do, but they are responsible because you invited them to the parties, but not solely responsible because this happens. Now, you could maintain the same standard that the rest of the crypto space does and, oh, somebody got rug pool, oh, well, I ain't got shit to do with that. You could do that. But Mad Meerkat Finance is showing themselves to be exceptional in that we're not following the trend. We're, 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 we're living out the essence of crypto. We're being innovative. We ain't following no trend. Somebody rug pulled on my watch, don't even worry about it, I got you. See, that's what it's about, the innovation, the integrity, being anonymous and trusting your brethren to handle business without you even looking, being accountable. And they did that. They ain't got to do that, just being 1K. Uh, really, man, where's Servo Finance now? Now, it was said that Servo Finance, and I'm trying to look for it, y'all, it was said that Server Finance is truly apologetic that this even happened in the first place. While un understandably most of you are still angry at their team, they have reached out to us to make this right. This has come in the form of returning raised funds. It has also come in the form of them contemplating the release of their painstakingly drawn NFT art to all effective SRV users. Our team is now in discussion with the Servo team on how to take compensation for it. We are the biggest project on Cronus, and it is undeniable fact that there are, are a, plethora, a plethora of projects that approach us for launch pads and mad boxes. And unfortunately, there will definitely be projects in the group with malicious intent on our part. We have already rejected numerous other dubious projects that did not see the light of day. That being said, we are truly regretful that Dark Horse slipped through our lens by being cleverly camouflaged among those that truly wanted to try and build something. Going forward, the truth is we can never promise that rugs will never happen again because of the nature of decentralization. But what we promise is to further elevate the stringency of our KYC levels and project quality before giving the green light of future projects. Once again, we apologize that this unfortunate incident happened to all of us today, but we will grow from this and emerge stronger. Thank you for your constant support and we will do better. Now, if, if, if these people come on with this money, right, will we still fuck with server finance huh when the airdrop come through your wallet is you still gonna deal with server finance huh I say me personally I ain't gonna lie huh if they handle their scandal man I give them another shot I give them another shot do I recommend y'all doing it? Hell no. But I will give them another shot because the concept of the gamification, the metaverse, and and, and, and the whole NFT just mixed in together on a Cronus Network was big for me, man. You know what I mean? And I'm thankful, man, that I didn't get hit for the whole amount. I came into the party late, so I got kicked out a little amount of SRV, but it was still Gucci. It was still my money. Listen, man, Dark Horse, wherever you are, come on with that money, homie. Message to Dark Horse. That's going to be the title of this. Message to Dark Horse. Scam of the server finance. Yeah. Hit me up, Dark Horse, man. Let's have a talk, bro. Let me see what's good with you. I ain't pressed about the money, but you know what you did with some cold shit. You got to think about people who really needed that money. Like, you an intelligent dude to be a lead developer on any project, man. You can make some shit that can really pop. So pull up on me, man. Let's have a little interview, man. Ain't no faces. You know what I mean? And just hit me up. Telegram gonna be in here. All that. I ain't giving none to the authorities. I ain't, I ain't built like that. But I'm just saying, I most definitely just got to get your take on it. Like, why did you do it? Hit us up, man. Crow get us in the building. You know what I mean? One Global. Digi Trappers. For all my people, man, that's been supporting us, we are building up the Tele Group. It's building up. Shout out to my guy, man, Zen Zen. Shout out to my guy, man. Admin in the building, official Digi Trapper. 
Y'all, y'all just be, be mindful, man. Stick to the script also, man. How, how I'm feeling right now, if the project is not sponsored by the app itself, by the DeFi app itself, I ain't, I ain't dealing with it. Now, was Server Finance? No, it wasn't. Server Finance was brought to you by an app that was sponsored by the app. That's a third-party app. I ain't dealing with it right now. I got to know the devs. I need some identification. I need some type of veracity. I need these things to be validated before I pull up. And I and it's just the game, y'all. Stick to the script. Stay rigid to the to the rules, man. And you ain't got to worry about losing too much. You dig what I'm saying? Is it impossible? No, it's not impossible. You feel what I'm saying? Highly, highly doable. Nah, like shit gonna happen, man. Here and there. It's some it's some that's accepted by the site right now. This that's that's moving real flaky. Dark crypto. I love the concept of dark crypto, but they starting. Y'all need to get y'all UI together, bro. Like, all this deposit button missing, glitches, TVLs. Like, listen, it's too much money flowing through y'all, man. Stop what y'all doing with this creating shit and fix the basics, bro. Fix the basics, man. But I ain't going to make this about that, man. This was an apology to all the SRV people who endured such bullshittish, you know, bullshittiness in all crypto kingdoms. Like, y'all just really shitting on the whole movement. But MMF, man, y'all really did y'all thing. Shout out to MMF, man. For that, I'm finna buy some more MMF. And I salute y'all. Handle that business, man. My wallet is waiting. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, uh, share, if anything, man. Share this to about five people, man. Do me that favor. It's free. Share the lie, share the love. It will be returned to you in the form of valuable information because I do increase my value when I increase the value of others, man. The opulent one, Mr. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Holla me to tell you.